Hi, it's Dr. Janowski for Sonata. Today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about neuromodulators. That's a big word, neuromodulator. What is a neuromodulator? Well, some people also call them neurotoxins, and we'll talk about the word toxin in a second. But neuromodulators are drugs like Botox, uh, Dysport, Xeomin. There are others in Europe. Um, these are all products that basically do the same thing. They block the transmission of a nerve impulse or a nerve signal from the nerve to the muscle, right? And the product interferes with that communication and therefore the muscle cannot move as much as it normally does because it doesn't get the signal from the nerve. So neuromodulators and neurotoxins of course have been used for cosmetic purposes now for over 20 years and um, were first discovered over a hundred years ago. Um, and just to talk about neurotoxins, so they're just different words for the same thing, but remember the word toxin has a very negative connotation. It mean, it sounds like if something is a toxin, well, it must be toxic, right? So, um, so it's a little bit of a, a misconception. But remember, t toxins from animals and plants have been discovered for many uses in medicine. They actually have come to become uh, some of the uh, more important medicines that we use for things like diabetes and heart disease and other things. So uh, what we're really talking about here when we talk about the neurotoxin, Botox, Dysport, or Xeomin is a protein. Okay, It's a protein that is purified from the source, in this case a bacteria, and there's no bacteria in the product and you can't get sick from it. Uh, those of you who have used these products before know that you can have some local effects where a muscle gets more weak than we want and things like that. So just, it's just local effects. There's no systemic or toxic effects from these, from these medicines. And so whenever we're talking about neuromodulators, neurotoxins, that, those are the products that we're talking about. And for the most part, they're, the three products are interchangeable in terms of what they do and how long they last and, and things like that. So. It's a really an important foundation for a lot of what we do because that's often the introductory product that we use for many patients who are seeking improvement in the upper face. Um, so when you read any articles about those uh, words, now you'll understand what we're talking about.